Adam Brody, and Leighton Meester. A millennial love story everyone can get behind. It's good yeah. for a laugh. And now E.T.'s looking back at how the stars literally aligned to bring together Blair Waldorf. Haven't you heard? And Seth Cohen. Summer? Anna? Seth? Yeah, Adam became quite the heartthrob thanks to the OC. I kissed you. So true. <laughs> I always knew you were a late bloomer, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. When the series signed off in 2007, creator Josh Schwartz left the beach and turned to the Big Apple with Gossip Girl. I was very attracted to her from jump. She's a heavenly creature. Which is right around the time Adam and Layton first crossed paths. Literally the first time we met, that whole cast was eating at Canthers, and I was leaving and he introduced all of us and then bumped into her like two or three times over the next couple of years, but I had no idea whether she was a good person or not. And in fact, kind of assumed she probably wasn't for like, you know, the first handful of years that I didn't know her just because I don't know, Gossip Girl. Well, fast forward to 2012, Adam and Layton co-starred in The Oranges, sharing the screen again soon after in Life Partners. Hi. Oh Hi. God, yeah. How are you? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the two were becoming more than colleagues and made it red carpet official in 2013. And come to find out, like, she's literally Joan of Arc. She's like the strongest, best person I know. She's my moral compass and North Star. And I just can't say enough good things about her character. Yep, the romance took a while to cook, but they made up for lost time. And a year after they first sparked dating rumors, the couple tied the knot. I'm quite happy with my life and I don't mess with it. And ever since, Layton and Adam have opted to keep their private lives, well, private, especially after their family got a little bigger. The couple welcomed their first child in 2015, daughter Arlo Day. And I think that it's really important to show your children that there are different sides to everything. That's Adam and Layton chatting with E.T. in the couple's first joint interview, where they also poked fun at their teen drama days. Once not, a year, not once a year, we have a do. Seth and Blair day. Yeah, exactly. Maybe we dress up. It doesn't excite us, I think, because we're just human beings, right. and I don't know. But I mean, it's exciting to us. It's good that for it's a laugh. To you. It's good yeah, for a laugh. It's cool. And the stars even reunited on screen for Layton's sitcom, Single Parents. I am the captain of the ship, and before you meet the only important passenger on board, I need to know you understand the rules. Aye, aye, captain. No. The ship stuff is only for me. And the family is still growing. In 2020, the parents celebrated the arrival of their second child, a son whose name they have yet to share. And now I've really doubled up on this kid thing. Working is the ultimate like get guilt for me, where I'm like, I want to be here, I'm having fun. Um, and of course, I think it's good all around. But you know, this world, this our society, everything, it doesn't really give us a lot of space for feeling whole on either end. There's never like an easy way of doing it. <laughs> Marriage, you know, and being an adult and having a family, it was a new frontier for me. If you're in a long commitment, you know, and you've got responsibilities, I do understand now it's still a struggle, but that it's healthy to kind of adjust a few things. Like there are compromises that need to be made if you're gonna share a life with someone.